Welcome to the Sloan C Introduction to Mobile Apps in Games Development Workshop. If you like mobile technology, you will absolutely love this workshop. You too could be the creator of the next Angry Birds, or perhaps an educational app or game that your students can use when your lectures lose steam. Given the numerous tools available today, I truly believe mobile app game development is a powerful learning strategy for engaging students in creating authentic project-based assessments for both the face-to-face -face and online classrooms. Death to PowerPoint assessments. Long live mobile app game development. This course will provide an introduction to mobile app game development for the non-programmer. No coding knowledge or programming experience is required or expected. Those comfortable editing computer graphics and digital media will benefit the most from this course. Hello there, I am Chris Thompson, Chief Learner and Workshop Instructor. Currently, I serve as the Associate Director for the Center of Education Integrating Science, Mathematics, and Computing or Seismic, located at Georgia Tech. I have been involved in instructional technology and evaluation projects for over 20 years. In the 90s, I explored the use of wearable computers for on-the-job technology-assisted learning. When not busy teaching students how to design and develop mobile apps, games, I am helping to evaluate a statewide K-12 handheld learning project. My main interest at the moment is exploring mobile app game development as a pathway for K-12 students into computer science STEM learning. On the personal side, I'm the proud father of two children. My daughter just graduated from high school and my son will be in 11th grade next year. I've been married for 25 years this year and love the outdoors, especially whitewater kayaking. My career at Georgia Tech began in 1976 as a student, and amazingly, I am still here today in 2012. I guess I never tire of learning. You are welcome to follow me on Twitter at CTSeismic. That's C-T-C-E-I-S-M-C. -C -E Hope to see you in the workshop. So why in the world might you want to learn to develop a mobile app or game? Right off the bat, I can imagine a number of reasons. Some are obvious, while others might be less so. The number one reason most people want to learn to develop a mobile app is the lure of the gold rush in the app store. Anyone carrying a smartphone in their pocket has likely heard of Angry Birds and the fortunes made as a result. Although it is true that a few have grown rich because of the App Store, Apple is the only one that consistently reaps the financial rewards of all those apps. Apple makes 30% on every app sold through their App Store, amounting to billions of dollars. If you like Apple as a company, you will be contributing to their success if you create a successful mobile app or game and publish it in the App Store. Every good teacher wants the best possible learning resources for their students. Mobile apps, games, have been turned as the seventh mass media by blogster and mobile expert Tommy Ahonen, known for his book and blog, Communities Dominate Brands. Mobile apps and games have in many ways renewed the interest in and popularized interactive learning materials in a way the CD-ROM multimedia creators of the 90s could have never imagined. The second great reason to learn about mobile app game creation as a teacher is that mobile truly is a powerful tool for engaging learners of all ages and delivering content and learning activities to learners of all ages. Besides, just imagine the chatter among your students when you assign an app you created for homework. Your app is guaranteed to open up new avenues of discussion and connection with your students. Finally, 
Many teachers assign presentations as a final project so often that death by PowerPoint is quickly moving from a mere statement of frustration to a real possibility. In my humble opinion, static PowerPoint has become so overused as an assessment tool that it holds little value for students. PowerPoint has lost all sense of authenticity as an assessment tool. Imagine for a minute if instead students were asked to create a mobile app or game to demonstrate their learning. Not only would the activity be incredibly exciting and engaging, but more important, the opportunity to create a real and authentic assessment is huge. Wikipedia defines authentic assessment as an umbrella concept that refers to the measurement of intellectual accomplishments that are worthwhile, significant, and meaningful, as compared to multiple choice standardized tests. Authentic assessment can de be devised by the teacher or in collaboration with the student by engaging student voice. When applying authentic assessment to student learning and achievement, a teacher applies criteria to construction of knowledge, discipline inquiry, and the value of achievement beyond school. Mobile app game creation as a learning activity would certainly seem to meet this definition. Are you interested in learning how to create mobile apps and games for learning, but overwhelmed by the prospect of having to learn to code? Confused by the difference between a digital book, a HTML5 web app, and a native app? Afraid that mobile learning development requires you to master a computer language and write code in something like Objective-C? Fear no more. Not only is interactive mobile learning app creation now possible by most tech-savvy teachers and students, it is also emerging as a highly engaging learning strategy. This workshop will provide an overview of the mobile app game for learning development process while exploring user-friendly development tools available to non-programmers. All participants will have a hands-on opportunity to design and develop a simple working mobile learning app or game. Participants will also discuss how mobile content creation can be used to teach and engage students in the online classroom. Learn by doing in this workshop as you experience firsthand what it takes to create the next Angry Birds of mobile learning. So if you are still watching this video, I am guessing you are probably interested in learning more about the details of the workshop. Stay tuned and I will shift into detail mode discussing objectives, grading, assignments, and expected outcomes. If you have any questions, you are welcome to contact me via Twitter at CTSeismic. That is C-T-C-E-I-S-M-C. -E As you can tell, I am a bit of a big Twitter fan and love learning and continually expanding my personal learning network using it. I am still trying to figure out how to filter the growing stream of information that it provides to me daily. The overall objective for this workshop is to launch your mobile app for learning efforts. My hope is that by the end of the workshop, you will have an idea down on paper and a concrete plan for how to turn your idea into a real working mobile app or game. In this workshop, we will get you launched into the world of mobile app game creation. Specifically, we will compare and contrast the interactive capabilities of a digital book, a web app, and a native mobile app or game for learning. We will explore free authoring tools to begin developing your own mobile app or game for learning. We will identify and discuss opportunities for integrating mobile app game creation activities into your courses and classrooms. And you will construct a storyboard and maybe a prototype of a mobile app or game for learning of your own design. Now that sounds like fun. The activities for this workshop include Exploring real apps and games on the Apple App Store and Android Store. Participating in group discussions. 
reviewing and experimenting with real-world development tools, creating a design storyboard for your own app, and finally, creating an optional prototype mobile app or game and obtaining feedback on your creation. Certificate of completion requirements are as follows. Share reflections in all group discussions. Review an existing mobile app or game for learning. Create a simple app game storyboard. Optionally, prototype a mobile app or game for learning and receive feedback. Expect to spend 6 to 10 hours completing requirements for the certificate. The more you put in, the more you will get out of participation. I'm guessing if you decide to create a prototype, the total time will increase significantly. So what makes this workshop distinctive and unique? Well, where else can you dive into mobile app game design for mobile learning without first having to learn a computer language? Where else can you take a guided tour of state-of-the-art mobile authoring tools and exchange ideas with colleagues interested in exploring the same topics? Where else can you learn how to create a mobile app game without computer coding? And finally, where else can you discuss and explore mobile app game creation as a learning strategy for students and not just a mechanism to deliver content? This workshop offering aims to share state-of-the-art information about authoring mobile apps and games for learning, both by teachers and students in online and blended courses. This comprehensive overview is not currently available in other forms that I know of. If you are merely interested in learning more about what is involved in mobile app game creation or are ready to dive in with both feet, I feel sure you will enjoy this workshop.